Hey y'all, hey, hey, hey. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use to make my Florida water. Um, I'm gonna first and foremost tell you what fruits I use and then I'm gonna work my way with the herbs, okay? This, I use grapefruit. I don't use the actual inside of the grapefruit. I just use the grapefruit peeling. I use lime peel. I use lemon peel. And this is from my altar orange peels. I showed you guys on my vlog, but I'm also going to show it on this video. I use, these are the herbs that I use. Lemon balm. Cinnamon sticks. I love fresh, sweet basil. Smells so good. Whole black pepper, the black peppercorn, the whole black pepper. Jasmine. Rosemary. Lavender, I love lavender. Rose petals, see the rose petals. I also incorporate bay leaves with my Florida water as well. Star anise, one of the most powerful, strongest herbs that you can use, but I also put this inside of my um, Florida juice. water. So I just peel the skin off with a knife like this. It's okay if you get a little bit of the juice. Um, honestly, my family likes to eat the fruits and everything. And a lot of times I use these on my altar, on my ancestors. Um, so I'm going to use these skins, of course, but I'm going to dice it up for the kids as well. But I'm using it mainly for my the skin. And the reason why you want to make sure that you're using the skin, me personally, because the, you're making a clear water. You're trying to make it as clear as possible. So you really just want the essence of the fruit. So you already know the citrus essence of the, the lime is what you're looking for. A lot of other people use um, cologne or essential oil for their, for their or extract. For their um for their citrus smells and things but i just like it better when i use the actual peeling the actual lime and lemon and orange and with citrus citrus peels okay got all that peeling off so i'm gonna cut this up like this Put it in a bowl and the kids they like to eat lemons limes all type of oranges whatever centrist they like to eat it so i just let them get it so once i'm done filling it since i'm about to use all of these orange peels and stuff together i'm gonna put this in here with it now i'm gonna start with the lime with the lemon i'm doing the same thing And make sure you guys, I didn't show this on camera, cleanse your fruits and stuff from the store. Um, you know, I use vinegar and baking soda. And I want you guys to drop down below after you see this, after this video is completed and you see how I make it. I want you guys to let me know if you would be interested in me adding this to the site. Of course, I'm making this for my own personal use, so that's why you don't see me with gloves on. Um, but if you guys would like for me to make this for you, but you just feel like you just don't think you can do it yourself, or you don't, or you feel like you just much rather support me in this, um, just let me know down below. 
and I will start making it and adding this to my site as a um, Florida water um, as a Florida water um, mix that I use. So just let me know. Just let me know if that's something you're interested in. So I'm gonna grab back up with my other centrus gel peelings. I'm gonna put my lemons in there and move on to the grapefruit mix. Same thing with the grapefruit. You're just peeling it, you guys. You're not about to eat it. So you're gonna take these pills off as much as you can. As much peeling as you can. And if you do get a little bit of the, you know, the inside of it, it's okay. It's no biggie. No biggie. No, no doubt, no problem. type of stuff I really enjoy. It brings me in a peaceful state. Um, and I just enjoy doing this. And like I said, you're putting in the energy of the essence of what you would like inside of your Florida water. Okay. So, also you guys, I also, I like to just dice it up so it can be more essence in different jars. So I have two big old jars, but I just do this. I'm gonna cut up those over there like this too. I also use this a lot of these pills and stuff for my prosperity work that I do. So that's why I like to dice it up. I put it in um, put it on candles and spiritual baths, cleansers and stuff like that. Um, lemon and citrus is more good for when you're doing cleansing and things like that. Things like that. So some people like to put them and let them dry dry up. Um, me personally, I just put them in, in the tub. I don't really do the dry up part. So let's start. This is the empty jar. Make sure it's a clean mason jar. Whatever type of jar. You can use an old pickle jar that you clean out of. You don't have to go and buy I buy these at Walmart, Publix, wherever I can find jars. I love jars. But you don't have to use jars, jars you guys. You don't have to. And I don't measure it. I just, I just go into the spirit, until the spirit tell me. Until my ancestors say it's enough. Same way you do when you cooking. Like we don't, you know, they say black people don't. Um, <laughs> we don't measure. I don't measure. I can't give you guys no measurement. I can't tell you how many approximately we should put in there. I just go until they say, hey, that's enough for that jar, and and, and I just do that. So. That's how I've been doing it all this time. And it's been working fine for me. All right, so now let's move on to the lemon peels now. I'm gonna dice these up. Same way I just did those for the peels. And just think, like, while you're doing this, you guys, you're setting your intentions. You're saying, remove negative energy, you know, banish negative spirits, keep me protected, cleanse, cleanse my energy, cleanse the person, anyone energy that's not right around me, cleanse their energy. I'm going to put the whole thing in here, you guys. I'm just going as I go, showing you guys little by little. So now I'm gonna do the lines. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm dicing it up. I'm 
I'm going like this, speaking that energy as I'm, you know, asking for the essence of this lime to, to be used to cleanse, bring in good energy, bring in prosperity, bring in abundance. Um, just bring in great energy, just remove all of the negative, bring in nothing but good, balanced energy. Jars, and now I'm going to start with the oranges. Let's just pour it all out, you guys. I'm going to do that later. We'll just sort them out later. The oranges, these are kind of like, um, Spirit has already, um, already been used on my altar, so they're kind of a little hard and out of the way. They're not fresh like these are. Starting with the oranges now. Let's put those lemons and limes back inside the jar. And I don't really need that many of the orange peels as well. Extra little pieces to put in there. And you do the same thing with this. Some people use a processor, fruit processor, to um. To dice these up, but I just use my knife, get them all crushed up. Depends on how small I need it to do. Like if I really need to go into candles, I'll try to try to dice it up as much as I can. But since I'm using this to make Florida water, I really don't dice it up that much. Like you guys can see, I'm probably going to be making a few jars. So I'm trying to cut it up as much. Use as many as I can. These are oranges and um, tangerine peeling. So. Put this over to the side because I'm going to be doing, we're using, um, I'm going to be probably doing two jars. So I need to spread my fruit as much as possible. Um, you guys, I really am a music lover. I want to listen to some music. So I want to talk to you guys right now while I'm doing this. I want to play some music and I can't. I want to listen to some music, but I can't. I want to get paid for using this content. Okay. Put that in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. So now we're going to move over to the herbs. So, I believe in doing things in complete numbers. So, since I'm going to be doing the black pepper, whole black peppers. I like that's a lot easier. It's power in these numbers. So I'm gonna use nine black pepper. I'm gonna be using nine black whole black peppers. Black uh, peppers, see how they look? I'm gonna put nine of them in there. And as I put them in there, I'm gonna be saying I dropped one on some of the add. Add another one. Protection. I speak protection over my family, over my on anyone that I use this with. You know, you just speaking, speak your intention. Then I'm moving over to the clothes. I already have some clothes already open. Once again, we're doing nine. These are the clothes. There's nine of them. Okay. So we got the clothes, the black seed, 
meat in there, black, the black peppers in there. So now we're gonna do the rosemary. I don't count the rosemary because as you can see, they're so tiny. But I do count how many times I put it in there. So I do that in three completions. Get this open, oh, this is still good. So this is one. I didn't even show you guys how it looks. That's how your rosemary look. I love a good smell of some herbs, y'all. Ooh, herbs smell so good to me. Okay. I'm just going to order. These are, this is the um, Valerian where I'm going to go ahead and put that in because this these are very powerful, powerful. So I'm gonna let you see how they look. And I count, like I said, I count in threes. Put mother art. The reason why I love to use mother art in my um in my um photo water is because it gives you the calming feeling like mommy, you know, like your mom gives you. Mommy is home, right? You are comfortable, you are safe when you're with mom. And that's what this herb right here does. I love this herb. I love the drinking and teas and all of that. Okay. I'm not gonna show you guys how it looks. I'm not gonna put any more in, but I'm gonna show you guys how, how it should look if you go purchase it. This is how Mother Ward looks. Okay. Now we're gonna go into the lavender. Lavender is a peaceful herb. I love this herb. I use this in everything that I make mostly. Um, pertaining love, you know, calmness, anything, comfort. And this is how lavender looks. <clears throat> okay. So now we're gonna go to the roses next. I love roses. Rose petals. You guys can see that. Now I'm gonna show you in my hands as well. How it looks. I use rose petals for love as well. Like I just said, anything pertaining to love, I'm gonna use these rose petals. Anything for comfort, anything to make you, you know, just know that you're at safe. You're safe. And it's very you know, romantic feeling. They're, they're so pretty. I need to order some more. Honestly, I, I order dried roses, but I also use a lot of these roses are roses that I use for my flowers that got old. I just let them dry it out and I use those as well. Another tip for you people, you know, for everybody out there. All right, so now that I use the ones that's already inside of my jars, these are ones that I just purchased. I'm going to start with the jasmine. Jasmine is just how. The name sounds, jasmine is a, a flower herb that mellows you, make you calm, make you feel just relaxed, calm for you at, you're in a peaceful state when you use jasmine. This is another one where I don't actually count, I just put them in. I count the times I put them in, but I don't count how many, because like I said, these are flowers and things. So. I, Let you guys see how it looks. This is jasmine. Lemon balm. I use this lemon balm is because it's a great protection herb. It's great for removing energy that is not welcome as well, like the valerian root. And it has that centrist smell, so it's good for for the Florida water. I'm gonna put it in my hands so you guys can see how it looks on camera. I'm gonna put it in three times. So 
when I make protection, I have a tooth protection candle I um, make, I use this particular, I use this particular herb in lemongrass. That's another herb that I use in that candle. But these are great forms of protection over yourself and your family. Basil, another sweet herb. It is great for money, attraction, and it brings the right energy around you as well. Um, basil is a wonderful herb. It's used for that. And I put that inside of my Florida water too. It smells so good. This is how the basil on to the cinnamon. You guys, if you don't know about cinnamon, baby, I love cinnamon. You can burn some cinnamon and bring in some good energy, love, peace, prosperity, good, 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 good herb to use. I love cinnamon. It smells good and it also tastes good. I put three of these in here. So this is one. That's how they look. Two. And three. I love cinnamon, you guys. Like, I like the ground cinnamon, but when I'm doing my my Florida water and my silver, I love these to stick the sticks. They're they're best. Okay, so let me put that over there. And bay leaves. Bay leaves are good for banishing spirits, good for bringing in good energy and banishing bad energy as well. I'm gonna do nine of the bay leaves as well. So all nine of these are gonna go in here. Look how it's looking, you guys, it looks so cute. I love to make a pretty jar. These has, um, four stars these stars you know like the four however many of them you find they are very good you know so i'm always i'm gonna pick three of these as well um but i always like pick the one to make sure i find the ones with eight like if you find a perfect one with like 12 i haven't seen it with 12 i haven't seen them like all type of ways these are very dope energy for star anise. So here's another one. That's gonna go in there too. Here's another one. But you see how pretty they are, how they look? And you put those in here. So we've got all our herbs in there. I think we put everything in here. I don't think I'm missing anything. Yeah, I put everything in. We're gonna sit these over here to the side. And let's start the process. We're looking at people make it with rubbing alcohol. That is not the traditional hoodoo way of doing it. We use vodka. Okay. So you pull this vodka. I use I got the cheapest, strongest vodka I can find. The aristocrats. Okay. I love to tell my daughter looking at me while I do it. She's learning and I love that. I'll put a little bit more in there. Spirit likes this walk, okay? It's good, it's good for cleansing as well. Like cleansing of energy. And you're gonna put your water in there too. don't have a Florida water already ready you guys so I can show you the outcome of how it look after it's sitting for four weeks but you shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it like a Polaroid picture just shake it and yeah shake it um and <clears throat> this is how it looks you guys see how I'm lit and you're gonna let it sit in a dark place for four weeks and cool a dark cool place for four weeks and then me personally we have a full moon coming up i also will let i'll take it out of that dark place and let it sit outside to gain that full moon energy and bring it back into that dark place um but like i said just speaking your intentions into it as well and you're going to sit it in that dark place for four weeks and then 
you're gonna take it out of here. When you when you're pouring it out, you're gonna use like a stocking or a, a table, like a um, they call them cloths, to catch all of the herbs, and it's gonna look. And I'm gonna have a separate video once this has sit for four weeks, showing you guys how it will look. I'm gonna show you guys on the blog, but and you let it sit, and you pour it in that in like a jar or whatever, like a spray bottle, whatever you wanna have it in. And you use it just how you would use your own Florida water, you guys. I mean, this is your own Florida water, but you would use it the same way you would use the Florida water that you've been buying. Um, I just want you guys to tap in and learn how to make your own Florida water because I personally have been told by Spirit that that is not what's up, the, the way they're making it. So if you choose to still use it, I want you guys to know it's your preference. I don't want to make anyone feel like I'm judging them, but I'm just saying start making your own Florida water. Okay, you guys, there you have it. We are all done. So if you like videos like this and would like for me to post more videos like this, thumbs up this video. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for? Come on over here and learn some more things and enjoy my family and content. Um, so, and also, hit the bell notification so you can know every time I post. It may be videos like this, maybe me vlogging, it may be me just doing all types of things. So, I thank you guys so much. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside.